What's going on, man? It's your big brother, Trent. Uh, it's Monday, August the 5th. Time is flying by. Man, time is going by fast. Uh, I'm feeling good. Uh, this is the video topic that came to my mind this morning. Um, because I noticed how yesterday when I made the video about why if you a woman uh, and you over 30, you should settle down. I always get backlash. Like I, I, every time I make a video on relationships or dating or men and women, women and men, I always get backlash. Even though some of y'all out there tell me, big brother trend, please make a video on this topic. But it seems like when I talk about that stuff, y'all, a lot of ladies who are not 100% mature, with their uh, mindset, you know, they don't accept it, y'all. They just are in a sunken place. A lot of women are out there, not all y'all, okay? I'm just talking about the, the very few that's in the back, you know, the, the, the people that don't listen to the teacher, even though the teacher's trying to help them because the end of grade test is coming up, all right? And you ain't got that much time left being that you at a certain uh, age in your life. They still don't want to listen, y'all. Okay? It's crazy because, folks, you can lead a horse to the water, but you cannot make that person drink. You can teach a person all day how to become a more conscious person, but you can't change their heart. Okay? It's them that got to find it within themselves to be a better person, to be a different person. It don't matter who it is. All right? It could be men. Okay? You can make a man, you can make a man want to be get his life together, get him out the streets. But if he don't want to take the streets out of, out of, out of his heart, then he going to still go back to the streets. You know, I've seen it so many times, even with my old past job, you know, I used to work uh, for a crisis shelter. I used to work for a homeless shelter, right? And we would take homeless people in who was on the streets because they came to us for, for help, for food, for housing, and it's crazy because we'll pray, we'll pray over them with the church before we go out and move them to their new home, their new apartment. We get them in the home and everything. We, we, you know, I would pick this furniture up and it'd be heavy on my body every single day. And I would go home tired, feeling like I accomplished something because I helped these homeless people or these drug addicts move in from off the streets. Go back to the office the next day. We check up on the person. The person has sold all the stuff that we done gave them and done, <laughs> done went and bought some drugs. Or now the person, we check back up on the person a week later, they done overdosed or anything completely on the contrary of what we moved the person in the house for usually always happened. They went back to the streets. Okay. So if you, if you ask me right now why men are not approaching women, most women out there are so hurt okay let's keep it real because i'll be hearing so many women nowadays they use that word like men need healing men are hurt men are narcissists those are the three statements that i hear personally coming from women when it when it concerns men and why men are not approaching women they'll either say you gay they'll either say you hit you need to heal they'll either say you hurt or you're a narcissist those are the four number one statements that girls who are not taking accountability, who they, what they say to try to, you know, to try to covert, covert their own lack of responsibility as a woman. All right. And I'm about to show you a clip right now of everything that I'm saying in one nutshell. Okay. Now, what you about to see is you got, you about to see a group of chicks who seem a little bit somewhat older. I mean, not old. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just woke up this morning, who seems somewhat a little bit younger, probably than you. I know that you don't look, you look younger than me, okay? But it doesn't mean anything. They're still adults, okay? Now, you don't stereotype these girls, okay? Because women women are women, all right? It don't matter if you green, blue, red, black, or white, okay? It's usually always mostly the same thing when it comes down to women, okay? That's why you have groups and clusters of women who link up and team up and they always want to do the same exact things together which is also why a lot of other women don't hang out with a lot of women because they're just not willing to do everything that this group of chicks wants to do at that time 
And women will get mad at you if you don't want to do it like the posse does it. You get what I'm saying? Um, so this applies to all women. It ain't just these group of girls. It's all women. Trust me, because I personally have tried to go out and try to approach women. And the same thing that's, that's happening, that what happened to this guy is the same thing that happens to me a lot of times. Women just do not like guys who are good men nowadays in modern day society. I don't know why. Don't ask me. I don't know why it went wrong. I'm not about to get into it. But if you are doing good as a man out there, meaning you probably doing decently financially, you probably doing good in the gym, you working out, you probably got a good mind on your shoulders. You're a very good God fearing spiritual brother. You probably have a roof over your head and can keep some food on your stomach and food on the table. All right. If you are like that guy who looks to most women like you are actually doing really good with yourself. I'm sorry, brother, but she's going to deny you and she's not going to um, she's not going to even try to even follow up with you or try to really get to know you like that, because I don't know why it's a phenomenon that's going on in our country. It's called modern women, and I'm about to roll the clip. This is why men are not approaching women anymore. Roll the clip. This man gets rejected because he's healthy. What's your name? Antoine. Antoine, how old are you? I'm 27. 27, okay, and what do you do? I work at a plant, but I also personal train. Okay, very cool. Yeah. And uh, now, what are some things you like to do for fun? Really work out. So you're all about the gym? Yeah. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? Smoking. Smoking is just a no deal for me. Oh, my uh, God. That's really it. And then you got to be a gym girl. All right, cool. So we did get a couple of pop balloons. Oh, yeah. Let's go on over to these girls and see what's going on. We'll start right over here. We can have your name and age. My name is Jacqueline. I'm 25. And Jacqueline, why'd you end up popping your balloon? Um, I'm initially not really attracted, but also you said you want a gym girly, so I'm not that either. I know you said you're all about the gym girly. Mm -hmm. She says she's not. So is she someone that's your type? Oh, no, she's good. She good. Oh. Yeah. All right, if we can have your name and age. I'm Lex. I'm 23. Hey. And Lex, why did you end up popping your balloon? Because he's not my type. Like, just physically, he's not my type. So physically, what is your usual type? Um... I'm sorry, I wasn't expecting that. Um, more, I don't know. I don't know. I can't even tell you. <laughs> Just like the energy, possibly, mm. or whatever. You said physically, though. Yeah, like physically, your energy is not. Get some help. Matching, but I do like that you go to the gym. And now, is she someone that's your type? She did, so we can work something out. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's go on over here. Your name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon. I'm Jasmine. I'm 26. I really just popped because I smoke. everything was cool, but you say you don't like people who smoke, so oh, yeah. same thing. Same I know you say everybody's cool, yeah. but just smoking, just smoke. I can't do no smoking. Can't do that. Just, right. I respect it. <laughs> okay, let's go on over here. If we can have your name and age. Hi, my name is Mishnah. I'm 23. And Mishnah, why'd you end up popping your balloon? I popped my balloon because at first you said you're a personal trainer, but then I heard you speak about how much God is in your life, and I was like, but then I also kind of, I just felt like. I just don't see us being compatible with you being so big into the gym. Oh, I'm yeah. not a gym girly whatsoever. I personally dance. That's my choice of exercise. So I didn't want you going to the gym and me being like, no, I'm good. I didn't want that to be an issue. What? So I just figured I'd just rather separate myself. I understand. That's one thing I should have emphasized on. I, as long as you've been active. Oh, I already got the gym thing out the way. Uh -huh. I, I feel about 50-50. <laughs> oh, let's start right here. <laughs> Your name and age? I am Kayla. I'm 23. Okay, so Kayla, why'd you end up popping from him asking how you feel about 50-50? Because I'm not trying to, like, backtrack on my past relationship that we was doing 50-50 there and I, I didn't like it. Because I feel like if I'm cooking food, if I'm cleaning the house, if I, you know, I feel like that's the 50 right there. No! No! I never said, so, I never said about payments or nothing. What didn't explain. 50 -50. It is, is, can you adapt? Matter, that's a better uh, question. Can you? Yeah. Adapt? Okay. Yes, Cause, I cause, can. Because I could be holding you down, but then again, life happens. Life on life. Yeah. Can you adapt? Well, then if that's Are the you case, willing yes. To adapt? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So can I? You want your balloon back? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Hold on. I'm about to do it again. Cause you know what? I, I tried to shoot my shot at him a long time ago, and he like never gave me the time or attention. And he probably don't want to tell nobody, but he's um. Most the people, security at the club, and I be trying to shoot my shot there too. And he still don't give me a chance. I'm, I'm good. I don't even care no more. That's all what you gotta say for yourself. It's just like, if I see you in the club all the time, it's just. It's real. not even all the time, but I also got your Instagram. So.
So you're saying you see her out too much. Yeah. This, and that's yeah. like a, no. that's not what happened. Even though, even though I, I work security, at the end of the day, I'm not making money. If you was out making money, that's the difference. But you going out, I'm cool. Now, I, I can't make this up. This is how the mindset of most modern women are. You see, did y'all hear all the different little petty things that they said they didn't like, right? This man looked like I would even hang out with him. Like, he seemed like a cool guy that I would hang out with and be like, bro, I'm sorry you felt that way with all them chicks denying you and rejecting you. Trust me, I done had the same thing happen to me, bro. Man, let's get our passports and let's go overseas and see if we can find somebody that's not modern in Western America. Like, that's probably what I would end up saying to this cat. And these girls basically found flaws in this man that they wanted to find in him. He didn't have flaws. You know, this man probably not even in a better position than even probably me, except for probably physically. You know, he looks like he's a man, he's in shape, he's a gym dude. He look really good physically. Pause. Okay, but even for even me, even I probably would qualify or be in a better position than this guy. And I can guarantee you this I would have had my balloons popped as soon as I even walked through there. He even made it through there to even get to walk down the line. Me personally, I personally believe that I, if I would have walked in and, and I would have said stuff like, you know, I'm a coach, uh, you know, I speak and I do YouTube videos and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I, I'm, I go to the gym every day, you know what I mean? And, and it should be like, this is the modern day society that we live in. These girls have sunk into a bottomless pit to where it's like they don't want nothing. They want what they want. They want the opposite of good. They want bad boy. They want thugs. They want scammers. They want rappers. <laughs> Not to say rapping is bad, but that's what they they want the they want the they want the uh the ditty. You know what I mean? I guess. I don't know. You tell me, you be the judge because y'all just seen it in plain sight. This and like I said, it don't matter. You can I know some people out there going to leave some comments and say, well, they was young or they was all black. No, no, it listen, it ain't got nothing to do with race. It ain't got nothing to do with stereotyping, none of that. This is the modern day society of women. If it would have been white girls, the same thing would have happened. I know for a fact. Guys, back me up at the comment section in the bottom below to let everybody know that what I'm saying is not cap. It's really real. And this is why guys are not approaching women anymore because it's just like, why would I... If I work all hard all day, right? This man said he worked. What did he say he do? He said he worked at a plant. Okay, meaning he just probably a nine to five dude. You know what I mean? But oh well, everybody's in. Everybody work every day. If you really trying to get to the bag, everybody got a job or some type of trade or craft. At least he ain't say he was in the streets or didn't have a job, right? And I heard a girl. I think a girl popped a balloon when he said that because he works. <laughs> but this is why men are not approaching women anymore is because they don't want to be rejected after they don't build up so much confidence in themselves to try to be something and they go and try to talk to this chick and she gonna say all the stuff that what seven of these girls came up with nah i'm sorry i'm thank you but just not my type of man i'm not looking for somebody who doesn't smoke uh, it just not my type of man. I'm not looking for somebody who who's way stronger than me. No, it's just not my type of man, Trent. I'm not looking for somebody who's on YouTube all day. Just no, sorry, 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 Trent. I'm I'm I don't like you. Cause I'm not with the light bright guys. <laughs> I don't like light like skin guys. I'm sorry, sorry, uh, Trent. Uh, <laughs> you, you you talk a little too much for me. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm in, I'm done. I can't. I can't. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? This is the mindset of modern day. I don't know Western women, uh, ladies out there who are really, who really understand patriarchy. I think that word patriarchy, because that's what it needs to be still to this day. But they going away from that now. Okay. To the wholesome ladies out there, the real women who are not triggered by my message, who like who don't run and or go to the sun, go out to the sunset and stuff. I'm gonna subscribe, I can't take it. It's too real. 
please comment below and, and let me know your opinions too as a woman and what do you think about these modern day women what what's the problem with them please there gotta be some Candace Owens out there that can speak up, some Reavers out there, some women who actually know what I mean when I say modern day women, okay? Again, I'm not anti-women, I love women, but I ain't gonna sit back in front like I don't be seeing this BS stuff that's going on with most of these modern day women. I see it every single day. That's why even I don't even approach women as much anymore because that very video that you just watched. This is how they think. So speak up, let me uh, hear your opinion. Leave a comment below, man. I'm gonna make another video today. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you share this video. It's your big bro trend. This is why men are not approaching modern day women anymore. It is what it is, peace.